Hi everybody, Robert here with more River Training. Today we're going to look at creating a simple family. Uh, basically, it's going to be a we're going to go into our families dialogue here, and, and and we're going to say new. So here, these are metric. I want to use imperial. So okay, now this is twenty twenty three. And these are defaulting to metrics. So I want to go ahead and select the Imperial Library. Hmm, interesting. Let's go back here. So really 2023 does these a little differently. So we're going to have to probably review some of this stuff. Uh, okay, so. I'm going to see if I can find... A, these are all metrics, so I'm going to go to English Imperial here. Um, and I want to find a generic. What the heck's going on here? Family templates? Okay. So they stacked them all together here. So I'm going to go to English Imperial. And then I'm going to find a generic model template so there we go we'll select this one we'll select OK so now I did a series on these before but I'm going to just break down this real basic one for you that comes with this book by Mr. Stein uh, so we're going to open this file up here so breaking this down here you're going to look at uh, if it ever opens my god Okay, we're open. So now what we have here, this is our reference level or our floor plan. And then in our project browser, you can see that's the reference level highlighted. And then we have a ceiling. And we have our 3D view here. And front, back, and left, and right. So I'm going to go ahead and just tile these. Okay, so here's our reference level here. Let me zoom all these. Okay, now, now we want to create our framework first and foremost when you do a reference file. I mean, do a, a, a family. So here, I'm going to go into the reference level here. And we're going to start, go to, uh, let me just make this, well, I like to leave all three views open. So, we'll get started here. So I'm going to go here, create, datum. I'm going to reference plane. From this view. So, what we'll do is we'll just go and draw our plane. So we can just sketch a line here. draw a line here. I got a whole series on these guys, so um, and the draw a line here. And we'll add another here. Uh oh, am I drawing? Oh, sorry. These are not lines. These are not. These are reference lines. We want these reference planes. So let me delete these out. Sorry. So what we want to do is create a reference plane. These are reference lines. We want to do a plane here. So we're going to go and sketch a plane there, one there, and one there. Just going to make this very simple. They can get very complex, but this is basically a simple one. So we have our reference planes laid out. And the next thing you want to do, we want to go ahead and create some dimensions here in this field. So I'm going to go uh, annotate a line reference, go from there to there, and do an overall here. Same with this one, this side. Now this is just as basic as you can get with a family. 
like I said, I got a series. I probably will put some links in below so you can go and look at the series for creating families. Okay, now, once we have our families created, then you can go and set these equality here. So you could just select this guy here and just say equal. And do the same here. And just say equal. Now, once that's done, we've got this other view here. You've got a left and a right view. So let's go into this view. So we're going to get in some height. So I'm going to create reference plane here. So basically, this is just the skeleton here. Like I said, I got a whole series of these. Um, I'm going to go here to there. OK, so now we have all this stuff dimensioned out and everything set to go. <coughs> <clears throat> so these two reference plans are actually these okay so this here is our front view this is the left and this is going to be our 3d view whenever we get some data in here let me see okay now what we want to do now we want to add parameters here so I'm going to select this dimension that we created just select it in here, this little box say create parameter. And here I'm gonna say this is gonna be our our width. And we're gonna make that a type parameter, or we can make it an instance parameter. Now these I will explain later. Well basically a, a type parameter is a type, so we're gonna do type for now. And we're gonna say okay. So as you can see there's a little notation for width. And then here, we select it, and we're going to add a new parameter here, and we'll call this length. I mean, this is just as simple as you can get, and go OK. So now, we want to go and look at this view for our height. Actually, we're creating a box, so we're going to select this guy here. And we're going to give it a parameter here. We're going to call this our height. And say OK. So now once we get our skeleton ready, ready to go here, uh, we want to go in and, and flex these parameters. So here, we're going to go into our type settings, family types. And these are the parameters that we created. So for our height, well, let's go with our, our length and our width. So our width, we want to say that's uh, 8. OK, so that, so that worked. And then for our height, our width, for our height, let's go with our length. Let's make this 8 as well. OK, so now what we have is a circle, I mean a square. So now let's kind of adjust these uh, parameters, these dimensions or parameters now. Just drag these right out. Okay. Get these guys out of the way. <coughs> and now let's flex our height. So let's go back into family types and let's flex the height to 8 as well. Okay. So there we have our geometry done our skeleton done so next we want to go in and create a extrusion so basically we want to go here and we want to uh, you can do this a number of ways you can go and just do this like you can go extrusion and we go uh, and we just go boom boom like that and then we can align these guys and lock them to our reference planes so we want to make that one we want to align this one to here and align this one to there and so forth. And then uh, same with this one here. We want to come to this view. We want to align this line. Okay. Okay, now here is what's going to happen with this. I'm going to show you something here. Cancel that. I'm going to go into our properties. So in this view, 
this depth, this end depth is, is, is zero, zero, and it starts at one. But I'm gonna go ahead now, and I'm gonna finish this guy off. Um, back to this view. <clears throat> Okay. Okay. And I'm going to hit the green check mark to finish it. Now, the height is at 1. Extrusion in is at 1. That's what you see here. But really, all you have to do to fix that is just go align this guy to here. And lock it. So there we have a square or shape. So that's a basic simple family. You can add materials to this thing or whatever. And then when I was talking about type, so uh, these are going to be types. So I can go in here and I can uh, create a new type and say, let's take this four by four. Okay. Or four by four by four should have been. So go four here, four, four, apply. Okay. Uh oh, so we didn't lock the top. So let's go over here, this view. Lock. See what happened to our. Okay. So that's another type. So we can go here, we can say new type. And let's go call this one uh, 2 by 6 by 8. And then we go here and go make this two, six, and eight. Apply. Okay, so basically what happens is we created a family and we have these different types here. So I'm gonna apply that to four by four. And then it's gonna buy two by two by eight. And we could do several more. So hey guys, I just want to show you this basic example of how you do families like I said I've got a full-blown series of this how you do these uh, they get very complex but this is just the beginning of family basics so hey guys thank you for watching my video please subscribe see you in the next video everybody be safe and thanks for watching everybody take care bye